So today's been an interesting day. I got my first two big grades back. One of them was an English essay, which I got an 85 on, so that was all right. I was honestly expecting an A, but whatever. And then I got my pre-calc test back, my first one, and I got a 57 on it out of 100. And that sucked, um, but several people got like less than a 20 on it. So I think there was one kid who got a 12. I don't know how you get a 12% unless you just don't care, but that's beside the point. So that was kind of lame. Um, but I figured the I'd end the day on a high note. I have <clears throat> an old tattoo that I'm trying to get rid of on my wrist here. Right here. There we go. And I've had for, I don't know, four five years now and um, when I was in North Carolina I was going to a clinic that did uh, laser tattoo room and it was extremely expensive $150 for basically three minutes and that was one session and they suggested it was gonna take up to uh, 10 sessions so you can do the math um, I only did three sh three or four sessions with them and it's some of it's faded to a good degree but it's it's still there and people still ask me and it's still embarrassing you know, for the people who don't know. So I found out that there's no, there's no dermatologist around here that does tattoo removal of any kind. So I got desperate. I got on Amazon because Amazon sells everything. And I found this kit that they sell. It's basically acid. It comes in a little inconspicuous vial like this. It just says 100% TCA, trichloroacetic acid. Danger, corrosive, causes severe burns to every area of contact. Harmful if swallowed or inhaled. So luckily, all it comes with is the directions, a whole page of them, that's nice. And of this entire page, two sentences of it pertains to tattoos. For tattoos, wash skin with oil, removing soap, using 50% to 100% TCA for four minutes. So I guess people use this for other things and you have to dilute it since this is 100%, but it says you can use 50% or 100%. And since I don't have a pipette or a micro pipette or a dropper or anything where I can accurately dilute it, I'm just gonna use 100% and nothing can hurt as much as getting a tattoo removed with a laser. Cause that sucked. So I got my timer here. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick or wash my wrist area like it says. Then we gonna do this. I'm back. Let's do this. Stuff on my other hand. Put it on my strong arm. It even comes with Q-tips. How thoughtful. This stuff is really cheap. I don't. All right. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna record all this. So, I've really only got like two or three square centimeters to cover. I just have to make sure. I don't spill any of this. Here goes nothing. Well, let's let's reposition it. Don't feel anything yet. I'm just putting it over the letters. I don't want to cause unnecessary burning and blistering over parts that don't even have a tattoo. So, okay, now it's starting to burn um, pretty, pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cover up this vial so it doesn't spill and wreak havoc on my life for weeks. We're 37 seconds in. It's burning pretty considerably. I'm gonna hold on to this Q-tip because it's still soaking wet. And go ahead and take off this other glove. Almost a minute in, it's burning pretty solid. Um, still not as much as getting it removed with a laser, but it's it's on par. Got a beer to medicate. starting to turn a little red now. 
minute 20 in. Only doing four minutes here, so. Getting deeper. Minute 35. It's starting to blister now. I'll try and get a close up on it just before my time's up so you can see how quickly this is working. It, it hurts pretty good now. Um, I would say right now it's on par with the laser. So there's that. I'll go ahead and show you right now what this blistering looks like so that I don't run out of time in a minute here. So you can see the whiteness around the letters. That's the blistering already. We're at 213. Feeling kind of feeling rough. Oh my god. This hurts. <laughs> Two two thirty-seven. <laughs> What a great way to end my day. <laughs> Best Monday ever. Ugh. One of the letters is now completely covered in blistered. You almost can't see the tattoo. I think I'll show it again on camera just to show progress. We're at three minutes now. So you can see now that the letters We're at 315 now. I'm gonna go with standby in the bathroom, see how this goes. So here's the end product. You can see the acid stayed pretty localized, which I'm thankful for. Uh, it's still burning pretty good and it's, you know, like instant blister. Um, probably gonna keep this wrapped up. Um, it said that if you subject it to too much sun, it'll become dis discolored like permanently. Um, it's a pretty good ache. It feels like I just got a tattoo. And I can definitely, it feels numb. And it says you can do this once a week. So I don't know if I'll be able to push it that far. It depends on how quickly this heals, when it peels, all this other stuff. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. See you later.